record button on this computer. Brandon, I'll ask you to unmute on your side, good sir. Yeah. Excellent. We can hear you. Yep. All right, right on. Brandon, walk us through the last couple of weeks for you. Uh, I had a feeling going into the uh, game tonight, you hadn't been playing since early March with the Ice Hogs, that you were anxious to get out there and get going again. Uh, did you imagine it would be a hat-trick performance for you the way it came about? But uh, congratulations on it, and uh, walk us through tonight's performance. It was an awesome game. I'm First and foremost, I'm so happy for those guys in that locker room. You play the same team over and over again right now, and, you know, I, I think they've – played well from what I've heard against Chicago, but it just hasn't gone their way. And, you know, to get that win, guys were really excited about it. So that's that's everything, that feeling, because these guys, this hasn't been an easy year for a lot of people. And, you know, it was it's a good feeling in the locker room right now. You mentioned taxing to play the same team four times in a row. Was it taxing for you? I mean, you you burned up a lot of rubber going between Rockford and Chicago, up and down, up and down, between the Ice Sox, the Taxi Squad, Ice Sox, Taxi Squad. No games in between there. What was those weeks like, and how did you stay mentally dialed in, whether you were with the Taxi Squad or with the Ice Sox, to ultimately kind of pick up wherever you were going to be leaving off and, and be able to jump on out there and contribute? Well, it's just – it's fun to play hockey. This is why we all do it. You know, it's – I think – Everyone in that locker room would do it if it was for free, if you weren't getting paid. So, you know what? It's you just stay ready, work hard, practice, and then uh, you get that opportunity. You want to make the most of it. Brandon, your last hat trick, ironically enough, if you probably remember, it was in this building. You remember the Chicago Wolves scoring three goals in the first two periods against the Rockford Ice Sogs back on, if I remember, December 8th, 2018. Now you turn the tables a little bit. How good did that feel for you? In the game, like you said, coming back in the lineup, playing hockey again, but to do so against a team that you, you're a little familiar with. Uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, it's, it's a lot of different faces on that team, but the like the trainers are the same, so it was nice to see them. But, you know, it's it was more so just getting, being able to play the game I love. So it was uh, – I'm really – Excited when I do get in the lineup, and I really like the guys in that locker room, so I, I want to give them everything I have. But that, you know, Tomer stood on his head, and I was happy for him to get wins because I know as a goalie, you, that's that's a big column you want to do well in. And, you know, I, I think he played really strong tonight. He lost that win for sure. Jay Taft, your line is active. Mm, uh, Brandon, you know, what does it mean when you look at – what the like you said you've seen what these guys have gone through and especially against this team coming in did you feel a little bit more motivation even before this game coming into it for for this game absolutely you know I've, I've i've been around these guys you know i'm getting comfortable in this locker room with uh, a lot of these young guys and i think there's a lot of great character in there and it was just more so i wanted to play for them you know it's, it hasn't been an easy year and you know, if, if they can get a boost and get a win, you know, it, there, there's a couple games coming up. It's not like a long period like it was last week, where there's a week in between games. But, you know, hopefully there's a little good juju going through when they go on the road. And what about for you? Uh, it's got to be you talked about how you, you kind of wait. You have to be patient to get that ice time this year in that position that you're in. Um, it, is When you do get out here, is it like a volcano ready to blow just – that energy ready to come out? Is that what we saw tonight? Um, you know, it's just having fun. I, I've been doing this a long time and, you know, I, I, I love this arena and being here. I have a lot of great memories. I, you know, me and uh, the guys back from the day, you know, we have a lot of good laughs about uh, being back here and it's, you know, I'm just excited to play hockey whenever I get that opportunity. Great. Good game. Thanks. Thank you, Jay. Mario, your line is active. Hey, Brandon, this year has been pretty weird with, you know, the, the, the back and forth and, and the taxi squad and, um, you know, all the protocols and everything that's caused, uh, you know, the schedule con condensing and everything for you to be going back and forth. Is this kind of an, an, an unexpected experience when you when you came back to Chicago to, uh, you know, maybe you start the year with, with the Blackhawks and then you've been back and forth so much? Did you, did you, is this kind of unexpected in trying to roll with the punches here? Yeah. You know, I don't think it's normal for anyone in the world right now. So I am certainly not going to complain, but it's, it's, it's been a different year for a lot of guys. And uh, like I said, I'm just excited to play, but main thing is I'm glad they finally, uh, you know, fixed up 90 because for the three years I was here, it was one lane and that was a two hour drive to get into the city. And now it's hour 20. So it's nothing. 
Thank you, Mario. And Brandon, uh, I'll leave you with this one too. Going back to, you talked about a lot of great memories in this building and, uh, and sharing memories here. Your third goal actually makes you second all time in the low spot, uh, passing Mark McNeil for now 73 goals in an ice hockey uniform. Jeremy Morin, an old teammate of yours, has 90. Any motivation now to try and track him down? I know, uh, you know, time is short this season, but uh, congratulations on the accomplishment and, and your thoughts on, on on continuing to climb up the ice hockey all time ladder. Um, I think when I first got sent down here, uh, Mo texted me and he said, "Don't you dare get hot." So no, we, we had a pretty good laugh and, uh, you know, we, we, we still talk daily. So, you know, he, he's happy for me and it's, it'll be funny if I get close, I think he'll get a little nervous, but you know, that's uh, it's a great accomplishment by him. It's something he's proud of and, you know, I, I'm happy for him and, you know, I'm proud of what I've done here too. Well, Five goals and an assist for six points in three games is a nice way to get started. You might be texting you again, telling you to cool off a little bit. But as an ice hog, certainly not the case. Thank you, Brandon. That'll do it for uh, our meeting.